Okay. So let's come to our seated position. Sit up nice and tall. Close your eyes. Relax your jaw. Soften your temples. Take your shoulders up to your ears and then take them back and float them down. Then take a hold of your knees and just kind of pull on the knees so you open your chest even a little bit more. And then we'll just start to follow our breath in and out. So breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Just watching the breath as it comes in and out. And then we'll deepen our breath. So let's take a big breath in for four counts. And exhale for five. Now inhale for five. Exhale for six. Inhale for six. And let it go for seven. Inhale for seven. Fill it up and do your best. And exhale for eight. Empty it out. Inhale for eight. Big breaths, do your best. And exhale for nine. Inhale for nine. And exhale for 10. Inhale for 10. And exhale for 10. And then just let your breath flow naturally. So you probably notice those last longer inhalations. They're more challenging, right? It's our, our lungs aren't used to that, but it's good to practice that. And it will, it's, the, the more you do it, the, the better it is. But even at the end, you can kind of take little sips of air to get to the top. And then exhaling is usually a release, so it feels kind of good. Okay, so let's take our chin into our chest, take the shoulders toward the floor. You can place your hands on your head if you'd like and just get that nice big stretch in the back of your neck. And then release your hands and start to take your chin up to your ceiling. And here's Molly. You come and sit over here. Now bring your chin back parallel to the floor. And look over your right shoulder. Keep the shoulders back and down. Keep the crown of your head rising up. And bring your chin slowly to the center and look over your left shoulder. And then bring your chin back to center. Now take your right ear to your right shoulder 
and bring your head toward the front of your room until your left ear and left shoulder meet. And then just go back in the opposite direction. So just making half circles with your neck. Just go at your own pace. No, no, don't do that, Molly. Come here. Keep going. And then the next time an ear and a shoulder meet, stay there. And let's go backwards. The same thing. Go from one shoulder to the other. It's going backwards toward the back of your mat. And this side's usually a little more constricted. You may feel some tension back here or even hear some noises. That's pretty normal. If there's any areas that are super tight, just let your head hang in that spot for a breath. Maybe two, you're gonna need that out and then move on. If there's another one, stay there. Kind of working out all the, the kinks in our neck. And then the next time an ear and a shoulder meet, stay there and bring your head up. Let's take our right ear back to our right shoulder, walk your hand over to the right. And then we'll take the left arm out to the left. Maybe bring it toward the back of your mat and down to the floor. It's gonna move it around, feeling that big stretch in your neck. Hold it here. Breathing into that space that might feel a little tight or constricted, working into the upper trapezius. And then take your right hand onto your right ear and slowly guide your head up. And just sit here for a breath and notice the right side from the left side. And then we'll do that on the other side. So take your left ear to your left shoulder. Now be careful because we just opened that up. Walk your left hand over to the left. So we already start to feel the stretch here in the right side. We'll take the right arm out and then back and down. Move it around till you find that big stretch. In your upper trapezius muscle. And then take your left hand on your left ear and slowly bring your head up. Again, sit up tall. Notice the right side from the left side. And then let's find our strap. And we're gonna take the strap and fold it in half if it's long. All right, and we're gonna take the arms out in front. Your wrists in front of our shoulders. And then we're gonna reach the arms up and overhead. And then just pull to the right and pull to the left. Keep the chest lifted. Pull to the right, pull to the left. Draw the navel in and up. Maybe see if you can bring your arms back just a little bit. Keep the chest lifted. Now slowly bring them down. Now we'll take our hands wider on our strap and we'll reach up again and then take the hands behind us. So make sure you have enough length on your strap. And then we're just gonna go forward and back.
And just keep going at your own pace. This should feel good. Just opening up the shoulders. And then we can add the figure eight here. We can take the right hand behind and the left hand in front. And then go in the opposite direction. Left hand behind, right hand in front. Mm. And then we'll just bring the strap back in front. Just put it over to the side. And let's come on to our backs. So just take your legs long or turn lengthwise, depending on how you're sitting on your back. We're going to lower down, keep the strap around. And then once you're on your back, extend your legs long. Reach your arms overhead. Hook your thumbs together. Bring your feet together. And then press through your heels, reach through your fingertips. Get a big stretch here. Exhale. Lift the chest. Inhale, release, switch the grip of your thumbs. Exhale, press through the heels, reach through the fingertips, lift the chest. Inhale, switch, exhale, press and reach. Inhale, switch, exhale, full body stretch, big stretch. And one more time, switch your grip on your inhale, Exhale, press and reach. And then bring your hands down onto your sides, onto your belly. Just take a breath here. Okay, now bring your feet together again. Flex your feet. Imagine that there's a rubber band or a rope tied around your two big toes so they're holding it together. And you're going to point your toes to the edge of your mat, flex your toes back to your shins, and we're going to go with our breath on that. So take a breath in, and on your exhale, we're going to point and flex, point and flex, point and flex. And then on your inhale, stop. Exhale, point and flex. So you get your whole body moving as you point and flex. You're kind of pumping your feet. Inhale and stop. Exhale, point and flex, point and flex. Pump your feet. Inhale and stop. Exhale, point and flex, point and flex, point and flex. Inhale, stop. And one more. Exhale, point and flex, point and flex. Pump, 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 pump. Inhale, stop. Keep the feet together. The rubber band is still there. This time when we exhale, we're gonna make circles going to the right, and then we're gonna stop on the inhalation, and we're gonna make circles to the left, and we'll stop on the inhalation. So take a breath in. And on the exhale, we're gonna make circles, like you're making circles on the ceiling, going to the right, and then you're gonna stop as you inhale, and as you exhale, make the circles going to the left. Really opening up our ankles here, but also getting the whole body, moving all that tissue as we um, pump the feet. So let's do it again, inhale, exhale to the right. Inhale, stop, exhale to the left. Inhale and stop, exhale to the right. Inhale and stop. And to the left. And then stop. All right. So let's take our right Achilles tendon. We're going to take it in between the left big toe and second toe. So you're going to dig it in there. Take your right arm out to the right. So we're going to do a, um, a full body twist. So take your left hand onto your right shoulder. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, take your toes, your right toes over to the left and slide your left hand down your chest. So we're just twisting 
really getting in the upper spine and the twist here. And then inhale, come up and switch sides. So the left Achilles will come between the right big toe, second big toe. Left hand goes out, right hand on your left shoulder. Inhale. Exhale, twist over to the right. And just do what you can do. We're trying to get those left toes toward the floor. That's okay. Just do what you can do. It really, it's about the full body twist here. And then come up. And we're going to switch sides again. Right Achilles between the left toes. Inhale. Exhale, full body twist. Inhale, come up. Switch sides. Exhale, over to the left. Inhale, up. We're going to switch. Exhale to the left. Inhale, up, and one more time. Left Achilles between the right. We're gonna exhale to the right. And then bring your feet up, uncross and hook. Just stay here for a breath. Okay, let's hug the right knee up. Clasp around your right shin. Extend the left leg long. Now press down with your hands, press your hands into your shin, press your knee into your chest, and then take your tailbone into your mat. I'm feeling a big, kind of a, a little bit of a constriction, tightening in the um, right hip flexor. Just hold it down. And then we'll take our left hand onto our right knee and take the knee over to the left. Press through the left foot, and then exhale, twist. And let's bring that up, and let that foot glide to the edge of your mat. All right, left knee's gonna come up, clasp around the shin, press it down. And then we take our tailbone into your mat, so you feel a little bit of constriction in that left hip flexor, which so is. Held it, held it down. Tailbone presses down. Lift your chest. And then we'll take our right hand onto our left knee and take the knee over to the right. Inhale, bring your knee up and let that foot glide. So we'll go with our breath. Next few. So inhale, right knee up. Exhale, twist. Inhale, left knee up. Exhale, float that foot to the edge of your mat. Inhale, left knee up. Exhale, twist. Inhale, bring the knee up. Exhale, float the foot. Inhale, right knee up. Exhale, twist. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, float. Inhale, left knee comes up. Exhale, twisting through the lumbar spine. Inhale, bring it up. And exhale, release your foot to the edge of your mat. And just stay here. Take a breath. All right, let's take the right knee back up. Clasp around your shin. Extend your left leg long. And then we'll take our forehead to our knee. So now we're taking our spine into a forward bend. Press away with your left foot, hug the knee in, and then release. Exhale, left knee comes up, right leg long, forehead comes to your knee, hug it in, and release. Exhale, right knee up, inhale, let it go. Exhale, left knee up. Inhale, float that foot to the edge of your mat. Exhale, right knee comes up. Inhale, release. And exhale, left knee comes up. And inhale and release. Just stay here. Now let's take both knees up. Hug around the knees and take your forehead to your knees. So if this is hard on your neck, you can keep your shoulders down. And then we're gonna exhale release. And you can either touch your toes down and just bring your hands by your hips, 
or you can extend your legs long and reach your arms overhead on your inhalation. So we're gonna exhale, hug everything in. Inhale, release, float your feet to the edge of your mat or just touch your toes down. Maybe reach your arms overhead. Exhale, hug it in. Inhale. Stretch and lengthen. Exhale, hug everything in. Inhale, either touch your toes down or extend the legs. We have one more. Exhale, hug everything in. And inhale. Lengthen. And let's take our hands back onto our bellies. Just take a breath here. All right, let's hug the knees back in. And hug them in, right up to your chest. Just maybe hold on to your opposite wrists or opposite elbows, or just hold on to your knees individually. Hug the knees in. Keep the chest lifted. Take your knees over to the right. <clears throat> chest to the tipping point. And then come back to center. And then over to the left. And back to center. Just go at your own pace, rocking from side to side. Feeling your entire back, low back, upper back, pressing into your back, giving yourself a massage, massaging all the tissue, muscles, bones, just going back and forth. And then come on back to center. And take your legs long. Take a breath here. So let's get our strap. So we, this is the entire morning series. Um, they usually cut out a lot of the poses in it, but I did the whole thing. And even Supdapadakustasana is part of it. But then I usually move on to the hip series. So this, if, to do the whole morning series would be exactly what we just did with Supdapadakustasana, which I'm going to do now. So you can take your strap. You can use your loop or your strap, however you want to do it. I'm going to use my loop today. And we're going to take our right heel over our hip or kind of away from our hip, just so that the leg gets straight, right? We want the leg straight. So if your knee's bending, you want to take it a little bit longer. And the right arm straight. Or if you're holding onto both ends of your strap, then both arms are straight. And then the left leg goes long, left pinky toe points up. And we're taking our right hip away from our chin. And we're lifting the chest. And then the low belly draws up toward the chin. And if you want, you could point and flex your foot. That's good if you have sciatica or you know, any kind of um, inflammation or radiating pain down your leg. It's, it's called flossing the nerve. Right thigh bone presses away from our chin. And then the little belly draws up toward our chin, lift the chest. And then we'll switch sides. So we'll take the strap around the left heel. Either both hands on your strap or your left hands in your loop. We want this left leg as straight as you can get it because the idea is to stretch the hamstrings. So you want to feel that. Lock the shoulders down. We're taking the left thigh bone away from our chin. And then the low belly up toward the chin. Right pinky toe points up. Lift the chest. If you want, you can point and flex. Stay with your breath. Pull down on your strap. Pull down on the strap, press the heel into the strap. And then release. And we'll switch sides. Let's take our strap back around the right heel.
Left leg goes long. And then we're going to take the strip over into the left hand. Both ends of the strip into your left hand. And then we'll take our right thumb into our right hip crease. So we're going to push that right thigh bone away and take your left heel over in line with our left shoulder. Lift the chest. Push that right thigh bone away. Take your little belly towards your chin and then turn that left pinky toe up. Hold it here. You can point and flex here as well, or you can just keep your foot flexed. Lift the chest. Push that right thigh away. Creating traction in the hip. Inhale here. And exhale, bring your leg up, bend your knee, remove your strap. And we'll switch sides again. Over to the left foot. Right leg goes long, both ends of the strap into your right hand. Left thumb into your left hip crease. Lift the chest. We're going to take our left heel in line with our right shoulder. Press that left thigh away. Lift your chest. Take the right pinky toe up to the sky. Hold it here. Maybe point and flex. And breathe. Oh. Inhale. Exhale, bring your leg up at the knee. Remove your strap. We're gonna take it over to the other side. If you want to, you can put a blanket or block on the outside of your right hip. Then we'll take the strap around the right heel again. Left leg goes long, just like before. This time we're gonna take our left hand on our left hip bone and focus on holding that left hip down. Now lift the chest, take a breath in. And as you exhale, open the right leg out to the right. So that the outer edge of your right foot is parallel to the floor. And even here, we're pulling on the strap and we're pushing our heel into the strap. Flex your foot. Lift the chest. Left pinky toe points up. Breathe here. This should feel somewhat good. This should feel like a nice stretch on the inner thigh. One more breath. And then bring the leg up. Bend the knee, remove your strap, and switch to the other side. So if you had a support, bring it over to the left. Take a strap around your left heel. Both ends of the strap into your left hand. Right hand on your right hip, hold that down. Right pinky toe points up, take a breath in. And as you exhale, lower the left leg out to the left. Oh. Lift the chest. Oh. Breathe here. Notice how this feels from one side to the other. Oh. Let that right pinky toe Splay over to the right, pull that right pinky toe back up to the ceiling. All right, take a breath in. And as you exhale, bring your leg up, bend the knee, remove the strap. Then put the strap over to the side. You can move everything over to the side for right now. Bend your knees. So we're, we want our heels in line with our, our hips. Knees are bent and we're gonna slide the right foot over to the right and the right knee will drop in towards your left foot. 
And you might want to just stay here. Just going to notice how this feels. The right hip will pop up. You're getting your internal rotation of your right hip. If you want to take it a little farther, take your right foot on your left thigh. And your right hip will probably pop up a little bit more. Then we're going to check our alignment. So we want our right knee in line with our right shoulder, lower down. And if you want to, you can reach your arm overhead, take a hold of your right wrist with your, I mean, your, yeah, your right wrist with your left thumb and forefinger. Inhale, exhale, lengthen. Maybe drag that left foot down your thigh. And pull on the right wrist. Feeling that nice long stretch from the right knee up to the right wrist. Lift the chest. And then carefully come on out. So just uncross. uncross. If your foot's there, bring your knees up and square off your hips. All right, other side, left foot is gonna slide over to the left and that left knee drops in towards your right foot. And then check in, how does this feel? If you feel like you can take a little more then take your right foot onto your left thigh. Oh. And then we'll check our alignment. Look up, let your left knee be in line with your left shoulder, lower back down. And if you wanna add on, take your left arm overhead. Take a hold of your left wrist with your right thumb and forefinger. Mm. Breathe here. Just notice again how this feels, especially compared to the other side. All right, let's come out of this. Be careful. Across the foot, bring your feet back onto the floor so your knees are pointing up. Now we're going to go into our external rotation. So the right knee will drop over to the right, slide your right foot behind your left heel. And this might be enough for you to stay here. Maybe just take your left leg straight. Or you can take your left heel in front of your right shin, let that left knee drop over to the left. That's one option. So now you're getting the left hip into that external rotation as well. If this feels easy, then take your left foot onto your right thigh and let that left knee drop over to the left. But make sure you flex both feet if you're in this position. Double pigeon, fire log. And then you can add on here too. You can reach your arms overhead, lift the chest, hold it here. Low belly draws up towards your chin. Couple more breaths. So just kind of check in here, see how this feels, right? We just did internal rotation where we we're asking our hips to internally rotate. Now we're asking them to externally rotate. Do you notice a difference? All right, uncross, bring the feet back on the floor. Knees are gonna point up again. And we'll set up for the other side. So the left knee will drop over to the left and the right foot will come behind your left heel. And again, check in. This might be enough here, or maybe you can come into Sukhasana. Just cross legs with the right heel in front of your left shin. That might be enough, or maybe you can take your right foot on your left thigh and let the right knee drop over to the right. Just checking in, Just noticing how this feels. Listening to your body, as always going where you could go. And then if you want to, you can take your arms overhead, lift the chest. A 
couple more breaths. And then go ahead and bring your hands back down to your hips, uncross, tug our knees in. Just rock from side to side. Maybe even make some circles with your knees. Just kind of do what feels good right here. And to bring the knees together, roll over to one side. And come on to your hands and knees. So stack your shoulders over your wrists, hips over your knees. Let's take a couple cat cows here just to stretch and then we'll go into our lunge. So from here, just take your tailbone towards your knees, push the floor away from you and look up at your belly button. And then turn your tailbone toward the ceiling reach the crown of your head toward the sky. If that feels okay with your neck, you can always look down. Belly's gonna drop toward the floor and then you broaden across your collarbones. Let's do that one more time. Exhale the cap. And inhale to cow. And then come to neutral spine. We're gonna take our right foot forward and come up onto our right leg. Bring our hands onto our right leg. For extension of our of our left so is. So now we're gonna take we want to make sure that that right heel is far enough forward that you can take your tailbone towards your heel and feel a stretch here. And then but this knee is over that your left knee's your right knee's over your ankle. Okay, so we're feeling it right here. Low belly draws up, and then we'll take the left arm up. Still taking our low belly toward our chin. It's really lengthening here, up through the right, the left psoas, reaching up to the ceiling. And then you can take your hand slightly over to the right. Low belly draws up. Couple more breaths. And then carefully come down and we're gonna come forward and we're gonna slide the right foot forward. So you might need some blocks here. Sorry, I should have had you get them. We're gonna stretch through the hamstrings again. So sliding your right foot forward, your hands can be on your blocks and there's three heights to the block. So wherever, wherever your hamstrings need you to go here. And we're gonna draw that right hip back. Press the left hip forward. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. And then exhale, you can lower a little closer to your left, right leg. And then slide that knee back. So you're gonna come back onto your hands and knees. And we'll take the left foot forward. And come up onto our left leg. And again, you want that right foot, left foot, sorry, left foot far enough forward that you can take your tailbone toward your heel and you're getting your stretch here in your right psoas. And then we'll reach the right arm up. Take the low belly up towards your chin. And then we'll take the arm over to the left. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. And then slowly come up. We're gonna come forward. Slide your left foot forward to straighten that leg. And then we're gonna draw that left hip back. Press the right hip forward. Lengthen. And then maybe lower a little bit closer to the left thigh. And slide that leg back. So coming onto your hands and knees, turn your toes under, lift into down dog with bent knees. So keep the knees bent, wiggle your chest to your thighs, look at your ankles or look at your knees. 
Spread your fingers wide. And then take your tailbone high. You can straighten your legs a little bit more. Press your right heel to the floor, bend the left knee. And then switch. Press the left heel to the floor, bend the right knee. Pedal your feet just a couple times. Now look towards your hands and carefully walk your feet and your hands toward each other, ending up in your forward bend. Stay here with bent knees. Take a breath in. Big exhale, forward bend, release. One more time, breath in. Exhale, let it go. Take your hands on your hips and come all the way up. Coming to Tadasana, we'll set up our blocks and each end of the mat. If you have only one, that's fine too. We'll make that work. So we're in Tadasana, standing length, lengthways on our mat, and we're gonna take our feet wide. Turn the left toes out, right toes in, and then we'll take the block behind our left foot. Extend the arms out, lift the chest. Inhale, exhale, reach out. We'll take our right hand on our hip, left hand on the block. And you can place your fingertips on the block or you can put your whole hand on the block. We wanna really be able to press into that block and lift up so we're not collapsing, we're lifting. And then we're gonna take the back ribs, so our left ribs, toward the right ribs. So we're stacking this right shoulder over the left. And then if you want, you can extend your right arm up. Just look straight ahead. Or if, it, if it's okay, we did open our neck, you might be able to look up at your thumb. And really press down through both feet and draw that left butt cheek towards your back heel. Lift the chest. And then carefully come up. Use the strength of your legs, come up. Bring your feet back. So they're parallel with each other, and then we switch to the other side. So the right toes point out, left toes in. Arms extend out. Inhale here, really reach through your fingertips. We'll start with our left hand on our hip, right hand comes onto our block. And again, we're not collapsing here. We want to use that block to lift. Start to take the back ribs toward the front ribs and maybe extend your left arm up. Press into your block and find your gaze. Maybe just straight ahead or up at your thumb. Whatever feels good in your neck. So we're really pressing our fingertips into that block and reaching through our fingertips toward the sky if your arm is extended, which both of yours are. And then carefully come all the way up. Bring your feet back parallel to each other. Step your feet together, take a breath here. All right. So let's take a break. A big inhale, reach your arms up and overhead. Exhale, we're gonna swan dive forward. Now take your hands maybe on two blocks or one. So you're coming into the forward bend, but we're gonna be on a block. And now we're going to walk the blocks out a little bit farther. So we're kind of in a downward dog in the front of our body, but our feet are underneath our hips. So we're extending the arms, and then you're just taking your tailbone toward the back of your mat. So getting a big stretch. And you can use a couch or a chair here as well if you don't have a block, but blocks are, blocks are good. Just long stretch through the side body. And then you can go ahead and walk your hands down onto the mat. We're going to step our feet back into down dog. Take a big stretch here. And then come onto your hands and knees. And have a seat. So take your legs long. And we're going to bend the right knee. 
Extend the left leg long. You can keep your right foot here or you can cross it over your left leg. Now we're gonna take our right hand behind us and take it up towards your tailbone and either hug your right knee in or extend your left arm up and we'll hook the elbow to the outside of the knee. Press through the left foot. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Inhale, exhale and twist. One more time, inhale, exhale, twist. And then come on back to center. Extend your right foot long, sit here for a breath. In fact, bring your hands to your outer hips, press into your fingertips, lift your chest and flex through your toes. So flex your toes towards your shin for Dandasana. Crown of the head rises. And then we'll release it. Now we'll bend the left knee. You can keep it here or cross it over. We'll take your left hand behind you. Either hug your left knee in or extend your right arm up and you can hook the elbow to the outside of the knee. So whatever works for you. Flex the right foot. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Inhale, grow your spine long. Exhale, twist. And one more. Grow your spine nice and long. Exhale, deep twist. Maybe you can look over your left shoulder. And then unwind. Take both legs long and let's lower onto our backs. <laughs> hug, your, hug your knees up. Take your right knee over your left. Hug the knees in. And if that feels okay, you can take a hold of your ankles, kind of pull the ankles apart. Lift the chest. And then take your knee slightly over to the left. Lift your chest. It's a big stretch in the, the right hip, the right glutes, the piriformis. No, come here. <laughs> Good girl. All right, bring your knees back up, uncross. Other side, cross the left knee over the right, hug the knees in. Slide your hands down to your ankles if that feels okay. Pull the legs apart, lift the chest. Oh, and maybe take your knees a little slightly over to the right to deepen the stretch. Getting into that piriformis. <laughs> this side seems a little tight today. Ready? And then uncross. Place your feet down on the floor. And then take your right ankle over your left thigh. And you can stay right here and just gently press your right thigh away. Or you can pick the left foot up, slide your right hand through, clasp behind your left thigh. Draw your left knee towards your chin. And you can gently press your right leg away. And Flex the right foot. Then we're going to take the leg slightly over to the left. Oh. So going back into the piriformis, same, same area that we just stretched. And then bring your legs up, uncross. Start with the left foot down on the floor if that works for you. And you can just gently press your left leg away. Right foot on the floor, I'm sorry. Left leg away. Or pick up the right leg, slide your hands through, clasp behind your right thigh. Pull the left knee up towards your nose. Use your left elbow to gently press that leg away. And then maybe take your knees over to the right. Lift the chest. Oh. I can hear all the jet skis already over in Mission Bay. And then bring the legs up, uncross. 
Place your feet down, take your arms out to the sides. Scoot your hips over to the right. Take your right foot, your right leg over your left. If you want to, you don't have to cross them if you don't want to cross them for your twist today. And then we're gonna come into that twist. So take your knees over to the left. Keep the chest lifted. So if, the, if it feels like your right shoulder's up too high, kind of scoot the left shoulder up to wiggle that right shoulder down. Inhale and exhale, just a gentle twist. And then bring your knees up, uncross. We'll scoot them over to the left. Cross your left over your right if you want to cross. And then we take the knees over to the right. Arms extend out. Pick up your right shoulder to get the left shoulder down. And then bring your knees up and cross. Hug your knees into your chest. Take your forehead to your knees. Give yourself a big hug. And then we'll find Shavasana. So however you want to take your Shavasana today, you guys know the, the options. You can just go into traditional Shavasana. You have to take your legs up the wall on a couch. Nice. And then once you're, once you're there, just <clears throat> scan your body. Just kind of check in now and see if there's any, anything you might still be holding on to. And we just send your breath there and release. And then scan your, relax your fingers and your toes. Relax your jaw. And then let your entire body just melt into the earth beneath you. And I'll bring the chimes. No, I won't. <laughs> They're in my yoga bag. I will let you know when it's time to come out of your uh, out of Shavasana. So just let your entire body melt into the earth beneath you.
You can start to bring awareness back into your body. Bring your movement into your fingers and your toes. Deepening your breath. Maybe reach your arms overhead. Get a big stretch. And when you're ready, make your way over to your right side. And just stay there for a breath or two as you make your connection back into your day. And then come up to a comfortable seated position. You can sit here with your eyes closed. And just scan your body again and notice how you feel. Notice how you feel since you got on your mat a little earlier today. Just maybe feeling more peaceful, more open, maybe just a little lighter. Take your hands to your heart center. Thank yourself for doing all this great work for your body and your mind and your spirit. Thank yourself for taking this time for you. And I thank you for joining me this morning. It's so great to see you. Have a beautiful holiday weekend. Namaste. And then you can unmute yourselves. Richard Molly, I'm going to stop recording. There we go.